to my first uh, lure painting tutorial. Uh, this is my first time doing it, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. Uh, today we're going to do a crankbait. It dives between 6 and 8 foot, and since it's springtime, I figured it would be good to do another uh, like red color. So I think what we're going to do is start with the yellow on the belly, go to orange, then go to red. And then I think it would look really cool to do a purple and black oh like scale pattern on top of it. So got our coffee, got the lure, we got the paint, let's do this. So I've already painted the lure white to get that nice base coat that way it's not uh, transparent. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the next step with the uh, yellow on the bottom. So I'm going to get this flipped over. Since the yellow is such a light color, we're going to do a couple coats on it. So I'm going to hit it with the uh, hair dryer. work for me. I'm going to clean out the brush and we'll switch over to our orange. Alright, so next we're going to do the uh, pearlized orange. We're going to do it along the sides and then we're going to switch over to red and we're going to do red right across the bridge of it, the very tip top along the back and then we'll switch over to our purples and blacks. So here goes the orange. And I really love the way these pearlized colors look once the clear coat goes on. All right, clean out the brush, switch to red. All right, so next we're switching over to the uh, opaque red, just a normal bright red. And we're gonna use that, go across the back. Now I got that nice fade from yellow, orange, all the way up to red. Alright, so we're going to go and move on forward here and put the uh, stencil on. This is just some, uh, oh, ribbon from, I think I got it from Hobby Lobby. It has this really cool texture pattern to it. I use it for a lot of my baits. You can do a lot of really unique uh, patterns. And one thing we're going to do is once we get this on here, we're going to uh, spray white over everything. That way we can get a nice uh, base coat. That way the colors we put on top will be nice and bright instead of mixing with the red. We don't, we're not looking for muddy colors, we want bright colors. And I'm kind of thinking now that we're into it, uh, I'm gonna do purple and black for sure, and I might throw a little bit of blue in there just because that would that go cool with the purple. 
Or it could fail, you never know. But we'll find out together. So one thing with stencils, uh, you can never have too many clamps. Always, always have clamps. All right, so we're gonna put some more white back in our uh, airbrush here. And then I'm gonna go just just about to where that yellow starts. I don't really want this pattern to go too down or too far down on the belly, just because I'm not I'm not gonna have that purple and blue and black going that far down. But we are going to go ahead and get it really well covered here up at the top and about halfway down. We're going just about to where that orange, orange is. And we're going to do a couple coats of that too, so I'm going to hit it with the hair dryer. And on to the second coat. Alright, so there's what our mess of a lure looks like right now. Let's get the brush cleaned out and we'll switch over to uh, this baby blue color, I'm thinking. Have a real nice bright blue mixed in with the purple and the black. So we'll move on to that next. Alright, gonna do the blue. And we're gonna do that blue right back over top where we did all that white at. And you'll see how it's a nice bright 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 baby blue bright baby blue there's a tongue twister for you all right gonna hit it with the hair dryer do another coat Alright, and that's what our blue looks like. Clean out the brush and we'll switch to our purple. Alright, so when we go do our purple, we're going to spray it at an angle. That way uh, we don't cover up all the blue because this uh, ribbon is thick enough that it'll miss on the front side of it. And it's kind of kind of hard to explain. I don't know if you can see it real well in this lure or not, but how there's just a little bit of white on the back side or the front side of these. And that's what that's from, is spraying it at an angle. So that's what I'm going for. Is I, I don't want this blue to be a main color. I just want it to be a little highlight on the back side of all these little, uh, little splotches, little chunks. Uh, that way our main color shown through will be red, kind of like how this one is the blue in the background, but we'll have purple coming over top of it where this orange is on this one. Uh, but yeah, this this ribbon makes a really cool spray pattern. Okay, more coffee. Hold on a second. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, so here's our purple we're going to be using. I think it'll go good with the black fluorescent violet. How about that? Or for people like me, just purple. Purple. There's only a couple colors. Don't need to give them all these fancy names. I guess it's better than purple one, purple two, purple three, purple four. Ooh, look, 
got a lot of paint in there. All right, so we're gonna do this purple at an angle. Uh, kind of hard for you guys to see there, isn't it? But uh, you'll you'll see it at the end. Don't don't worry. Don't. Worry. I haven't used purple very much in any of my lures, so we'll see how this turns out. Hopefully I didn't make a mistake here. Very pretty color though. Kind of looks like a cupcake. I might eat it. Maybe the fish like cupcakes. But notice how I'm not going directly on with my airbrush like this. I've got the lure at an angle, and that's what's going to give us a little hint of blue at uh, after we take off the stencil. You know, it also kind of reminds me of a uh, Easter egg. All right, so that's all we're going to do with the purple. And you can't see it right now, but I promise you when we take off that stencil, we'll be able to see a little sliver of that baby blue, and I think that'll look pretty cool. All right, I dumped way too much paint in my airbrush, so I'm going to clean that out, and we'll be right back for the black. All right, so we are back, and we're going to do an opaque black. Nothing special about it, just normal black. And we're going to go, I'm going to say about halfway where the purple's at. So I'm thinking we're going to come about halfway down on here. That way there's a little bit of that purple still showing through. And again, we're going to spray this at the same angle. That way we don't uh, cover up all of our baby blue. What do you think? A little more than that? I think we can go a little more. Okay, switching to the other side. It's definitely going to be an interesting lure. Alright, let's hit it with the hair dryer real fast and we'll take off the stencil and see what we got. This is probably my favorite part and scariest part because either it's going to look really cool or we would have just failed. Cool thing is though, you can always repaint it. Alright, let's see what she looks like. Oh yeah, that looks really cool. I'm digging that. Oh, got a little scratch on the bottom. We'll have to go touch up. But otherwise, that looks pretty cool. And yeah, and you can really see. See how it's got those little little bit of baby blue on the back side of it? That'll really look three-dimensional once we put the clear coat on it. So since I already have the uh, black loaded up in the airbrush, we're going to spray the back of it and then I love spraying it just around the eyes and right on the nose. It'll make the eyes we put on there pop really nicely. So I'm gonna actually I'll flip this over. Alright. Get those out of the way. We're going to go just a little bit along this bridge right here. Just darken it up a little bit. I think that looks pretty good. Nice and simple. Now we're going to go back in over here and go around the eyes. Nothing too crazy. And right there on the nose.
And that was just a normal opaque black. I think we'll probably take our stencil after this black here dries. We'll lay the stencil on there and we'll spray some uh, pearlized black on it so it kind of carries that same pattern up onto the back. Uh, so we're going to dry that up. We'll spray the pearlized black and then we'll go in the bottom. And I'm thinking I want to add just a little bit of red here on the belly. Maybe bring it back to where that first eyelid is. Because the uh, bottom's pretty boring yellow. Alright, clean out the brush and we'll be back. Alright, so now we're going to do our pearlized black on the back. Pearl black. Don't need very much of it. Sip of coffee. Alright, and since we're only doing one color, we're not going to do several colors on the back. I'm just going to hold the stencil on. So we're just going to hold that on there. I'm going to move this down so I can get it nice and flat. And I don't know if you guys will be able to see it on camera, but hopefully later when we get the final shots of it, you'll be able to see it. Just holding that right along the back. I'll go over with my uh, pearlized black. Take it off. You can kind of see it. Uh, in person, you can see it really well, and especially when that clear coat goes on. I always like to do that. It adds one more dimension of uh, depth to it, I guess you can say, instead of it just being a solid black on the back. Uh, but hopefully you guys will be able to see it later. I think now we're going to switch back over to the belly and do some, uh, some touch-ups and maybe some orange, red. Otherwise, she's looking pretty cool so far. I think I got the perfect eyes for it. So we'll be back here in a minute. All right, we're back. I think we're going to do a little bit of pearlized, uh, pearlized, uh, oh, pearl tangerine. I always just call it orange. There we are again with the paint names. So we're going to do some pearl tangerine first, about to where this first eyelid is. And then I think we'll come back with just a little bit of red and kind of hit right along where these gills are. So let's move on to that. Won't take much. I'm going to go just behind that eyelid. I carry it up onto the belly a little bit. Alright, switch over to our red. So one thing I don't have is a pearlized red and I should really get one. I like the sparkles. Alright, so we're back to our opaque red. And we're going to do that on the belly. Carried up the gill plate a little bit. That makes me happy. All right. I think it's time to put some eyes in there. What do you guys think? Can't wait to get the clear coat on this one. All right, clean out my brush and uh, we'll be back with some eyes. All right, we're back and I've got my uh, selection of eyes here. And I'm torn between the blue, these crazy looking red ones, or the normal looking red ones. I'm trying to decide. I almost like the crazy ones. I think we're going to have to go with crazy ones. And normally I'll put a uh, little dab of super glue on there. However, my super glue is gone. So we're going to have to uh, glue it in place later. I'm trying to remember what size eyes fit in here. Is that one? 
That's too big. So it is a smaller one. Oh yeah. Matches the gill plate pretty well, nice and shiny. Alright, we'll do the other side. I always like to look, you know, in the eyeballs how they have, uh, some of them are it's thinner at the bottom. I always try to make sure they match both sides. That way the fish is looking the same direction. Little details. But awesome. I think it turned out pretty good. Not bad for no plan to start with, I guess. Looks pretty good. I think we'll get some clear coat on this and then uh, we'll show you guys the final product. final lure with the clear coat on. I got two coats of the KBS Diamond Clear Coat. It's like an automotive paint. I recently switched over to that and I really like it. It's uh, pretty simple. I don't have to do a turning wheel or anything like that. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If uh, you're new to my channel, I plan on making more videos. If you came over from Instagram to check it out, well I truly appreciate that. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. If uh, I should make some more or what patterns you'd like to see or Challenge, challenge me with a pattern or something. I don't know. I think it's kind of fun filming it as we go. You guys get to be along with the experiments with me. I think this experiment turned out pretty good though. Uh, I really like the purple and the blues and yellows. I think it will uh, get some of them spring bass. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, hit the like or subscribe. And um, yeah, we'll be back next time. I'm going to finish up my coffee here and We'll see you later.